Hola, hola, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the broadcast. Awesome. I'm so excited to be here with you for lesson number five on Live Life Your Way. So this is the second time that I am actually doing this on the computer. So bear with me. I would love to know if you can hear me. Um, that would be very helpful if you could leave a comment. Okay, awesome. And I will be showing my face in a moment. Um, what I wanted to share with you today in our lesson on Live Life Your Way is why do we keep failing, right? Why do we keep failing and how to stop failing and start succeeding? So I'm very excited about this today. I'm very excited to share this with you all as well. So I'm just going to give a few moments for some for you guys to kind of come in and join the broadcast. Awesome. So now I'm going to show my face. <sighs> hello, everyone. Hola, hola. So like last time when I did the Facebook Live on my computer, um, I cannot see the, co the comments on my computer. So I have to look at my phone. So if you see me looking away, it's because I'm looking at my phone or, or looking at my notes. And I think that's so important as to have notes and to write those things that you need down. So as you come in, say hello, thank you, welcome for being here with me. You know, um, a lot of people think that things have to be perfect in order to start sharing and start helping other people. And one thing that I want to share with everyone is that you just need to be ready and willing to go for it. Okay? And that kind of goes hand in hand. Hello, hola, honey. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, so a part of being you know, here and sharing your gifts with others, okay, is just to let yourself flow, okay, a part, you know, and this is just a side note, this is a bonus before we actually get to the tips today um, that I would love, that I'm going to be sharing with you, some of the things that we feel is that we need to be perfect, that everything needs to be ready. Our website needs to be perfect. Our content has to be perfect. Our, like everything has to be perfect. And that is one of the thought patterns that keeps us in this space of being, not, not succeeding and continue to fail because of our thoughts. Okay. So that's just one little thing there. So I want to thank you all for being here, sharing your beautiful light, and really taking the time to be here with me. And all, I want to also thank all the people who are live and everyone who is also joining on the replay. Even if you're on the replay, please write questions as you go along, whatever comes up, because I do go back and answer questions. So if you can't join me live and you happen to catch the recording, you can still get the benefits of the, the lessons that we're going to be doing today. And, you know, I'm doing this all different from last month. You know, before I did a pre-recorded video, I'm not doing the pre-recorded pre videos anymore, at least not for right now. If that changes in the future, cool. Um, that's one thing that's awesome is that you get the chance and the opportunity to to really shift how you want to be in your presence in the world and it's okay to do so and people will love you for it because my goal is to give you the best of the best, right? To give you the best results. And what I've seen is that being live is so good because we get to interact, you get to write comments and all of that and that is powerful, okay? so. Um, I also want to let you know before we get to the juicy stuff, juicy, juicy, I want to share with you that if you share this video, you get entered into a drawing to win a one hour free session with me. Okay, this is a $200 value 
that you get completely free. And I'm really, really excited. And we had a winner last month. So congratulations to our winner of last month. Yay! And I'm looking forward to seeing who that winner is going to be for this month. Yay! Awesome. So today, what we're going to be covering is the nine common self-destructive beliefs. Okay, these are beliefs and thought patterns. Okay, and I'm going to be handing, going through an exercise with you. Okay, we're going to do an exercise on how to remove these distracting and self-sabotaging beliefs, right? And really just work on that. Hello, Annie. Thank you for showing up. Oh, the video is going in and out. Okay, because I'm watching it on different devices and it's still working. So I have my phone watching it and I have my computer also on another screen. So I don't know if it's the connection you are having. Is anyone else having the in and out? Um, I'm hoping that it's okay. It's it is okay here. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for being here. Awesome. I'm so excited. So I'm looking at my phone for my comments because I can't see it on the computer. And Linda, how are you? It's been so long. I send you so much love, so much hugs, and congratulations on being new grandmama to twins. That's amazing. Lots of shout outs to you. Okay, great. So before we get started on doing our lesson of the day, I want to share with you the pledge, okay? And this is really, you know, um, some people hear me talk about this all the time, you know, um, the pledge, it's, it's important, right? This is a part of our energy. So it's a part of why we're here today, right? This is what started everything, was creating this pledge. So now I want to recite the pledge along with you. Okay, and I have the pledge on the screen so you can recite it along with me. Okay, great. So I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth and I say yes to myself and completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I noticed it was a little cut off at some point. I need to fix that the next time that I come on live. Um, but I didn't want to mess with things and then kind of mess everything up. So I did notice that. Thank you all. I hope that you were still able to read it. Okay. Now, with the pledge, you know, I am so, so grateful to be able to have this moment and share with you. And, you know, as simple as just sharing the pledge every single day has already shifted my life. Like, I have my index card here and I read this every single day and there's times where I'm like oh my god I forgot the pledge and I sit there and I definitely go back and I read it right if you forget it that's okay you want to keep this in hand okay the reason why this pledge was created and the words because the angels pick these words that will create a sensation within your body to help bring out your light okay which is amazing and and also to remind you to keep you on track so that's why i really advocate you saying the pledge as often as possible so here i go rambling <laughs> so this is what i would like for us to begin with now so i have my paper here and i need this because if not i get distracted very easily and you know that's okay and that's great and that's what makes me me so I share this with you because um, what I've noticed is that some people may think that my life is perfect right and my life isn't perfect and um, there are a lot of things I'm still wanting 
and attracting into my life. But the difference that I'm feeling now than from where I was feeling before is that now I see that it's possible and I don't let my failures or so-called failures stop me from continuing to move forward. So I've recognized that I get off track. So I take notes. I write things down so I could remember and give you the best of the best. Okay, so... I'm going to give you what I promised you, the nine common self-destructive beliefs. So the reason why this is important is because this is something we do all the time. We, and it's unconscious or subconscious, okay, it's not a conscious thing that we do, but it is how we are making decisions in the world, okay? So here are some of the common um, self-destructive beliefs and I also ask you as I go through this list to really sit with yourself and see if that resonates with you and also feel free to share if any thoughts come up for you about some self-destructive be beliefs okay so one of the most common the I would say the top self-destructive belief is that I am not good enough Okay, and in some form, we all have it. It's something that we learn as we grow through life because maybe we failed at something or we didn't do something um, the way we thought it was going to be and we were reprimanded for it. And we internalize that to mean that we weren't good enough. And we go about our life trying to fulfill, right? Trying to, to compensate you know, and not believing that just being me and just being who I am is good enough. Okay, so the top belief, self-destructive belief is I'm not good enough. Okay, so I'm going to read the list to you. So the second one is I am not important. This is another one. And I've seen this a lot, um, you know, with people also trying to overcompensate, right? I'm not important is I don't have a voice. So this is, this could be a lot of the introverts, okay? I'm not saying it's wrong to be an introvert. I'm an introvert, okay? And I had to learn how to have a presence in front of other people without getting all locked up in my head. And a part of that belief system for me was that I wasn't important. What I had to say wasn't important. Okay, and for whatever reason, I pick that up. It doesn't, you know, we're not playing the blame game. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do that. That does not work. That is not taking responsibility. We are now taking responsibility for our life and we're now allowing ourselves to shift. Okay, so another self destructive belief is I'm not smart enough. Oh man, this was a big one for me. I'm not smart enough. When I first was going, you know, when I was thinking about starting Miracles Within Us. One of the top things was I'm not smart enough. I don't know enough. You know, um, I am not good with writing, right? I'm, I'm good. I could speak and it's really good. But my writing really is not my strongest suit. Let's just put it that way, okay? I've always struggled with my writing. As a child, I struggled as writing. And I took on this thing, this belief, because my teachers used to make fun of me and make, they used to make me go in front of the classroom and read out loud and that was so embarrassing for me, okay? Um, I, I took on this thing of, I'm not important, okay? I'm not important, I'm not smart enough, okay? And, you know, that really took a toll on, on me as a child. And I bet that there's some people out there who's also had some similar experience. Now, I'm not blaming my, my teachers. I'm not blaming the students that were with me for laughing at me. No, I take full responsibility for my interaction in that. And because I took responsibility, I was able to shift out of that belief that I'm not smart enough. And what I've recognized, okay, I don't have to have it all. I don't need to know it all. But you know something? I know how to ask for help. And that is where the 
the shift really happens. I'm not a great writer, so I ask people to read my work. And there's still errors. Like there's times you probably received my emails and be like, what is Melissa saying? Her grammar is completely off. And you know something, I completely own up to it. And it, what it is what makes me me, okay? So I'm not smart enough is another self-destructive thought. And you know, before I was able to really overcome that, this took over my life. I was very shy, I didn't speak up. It even affected my relationships with other people because I wouldn't have an intellectual conversation with people because I thought I didn't know enough. Okay, and what I've recognized is that I know a lot, okay, and there's a lot that I also do not know, okay, but that's okay, and I own up to that now, but I made myself so wrong, right, I made myself so wrong, and I share this with you because I know some of you may be doing this to yourself without even recognizing. What are some things in your life that you are doing right now? that or that you are not doing right now better said because you don't feel that you're smart enough because you don't feel that you're important okay because you don't think you're good enough what are things that you're not stepping into that you really want to do okay that you're not doing because you have these self-destructive thoughts these self-destructive beliefs about yourself and I'm here to tell you those things are not true okay so you know there's some more I'm gonna share with you so I'm just gonna go down the list so number four I am NOT lovable okay that's another thing that we pick up you know especially if we had a bumpy childhood or we had a really messed up relationship a toxic relationship okay and I talked about that in lesson three right about toxic relationships and that damper that it puts on our self-esteem and our presence in the world okay number five I need to work hard okay this is that belief I need to work hard and even with working hard Sometimes I still don't get what I need, okay? That, that's a self-destructive thought. You don't need to work hard. You need to work smart, and you need to know how to bring in your resources, okay? Another self-destructive belief is I am too old or I'm too young. I hear this all the time. Oh, I'm too old to start my own business. You want to know something? Louise Hay started her Hay House book publication at the age of 60, okay? And that is a very popular um, publishing company now, and they do so many great things in the world, okay? And that started when she was 60. If she would have told herself, I'm not good enough, or I'm too old, or what do I know? Or I'm too old, I'm already stuck in my ways because that's another thing that I hear from people as they grow older is they feel that they can't learn anymore, right? Thanks for the Hay House, yes, resource. Yeah, the, the Hay House is amazing, right? And the reference there. So, you know, um, it's important. And also, I've heard this with people who are young. You know, I'm too young to be an entrepreneur. I'm too young to figure things out. I'm too young to try this or try different things. And I am 29. I've, I started my business three years ago, okay? And I had another business before that that was running for about a year. So four years ago, how old was I? 24. I started really seeing that I was could move into being an entrepreneur at the age of 24, okay? So, no, you're not too young to be an entrepreneur. You're not too young to start something, okay? If it is your passion, go for it, okay? Do not let this self-destructing thoughts diminish you and your potential in the world, okay? Another um, self-destructive thought is, I can't afford that, okay? And this was a big one for me, especially when I first started business, um, like wanting to invest in business coaching and software and all. I can't afford that. I can't afford that. And what I recognize is that is a belief behind not seeing that there's a solution behind that. If you see that currently, you want to invest in a program, 
right? Let's say there's this program that you know is going to benefit you. It's a part of your personal growth, right? Or your business or something. And it's more than what you, what you wanted to spend, okay? What you do here is figure out how many things do I need to do or how many hours, how many... Uh, do I need to sell something? Do I need to get a new client? That And how many of that would that take for me to pay for that program? It's about shifting. It's not I can't afford it. It's what can I do to pay for it, right? What can I do? Because that's the value, right? What can I do to pay for it versus I can't afford it? Because that's a cop out. Oh, I can't afford it. That's a cop out. And that's something that I am also learning as I'm moving into my business and investing in the business itself. Okay. And with myself, I think it's really, really important to do that. Okay. I just right now enrolled to do the Landmark Forum for those of you who know of Landmark. And the Landmark Forum is a three day weekend and uh, intensive weekend and I paid $625 for that and at that moment I was like well can I afford this and I was about to go to say I cannot afford this and what I ended up shifting was that you how many clients do I need to get so that I could pay for this program right? How many people's lives can I change at the same time as I am changing my life? Because it's not about me getting clients and me getting money. It's about how am I going to transform someone's life? How I'm going to give them what they need. And in return, they provide me with what I need and help me pay for that program, right? And any other programs and investments that, that are going to help me be a better business person so that I could give you and coach so that I can give you the resources possible and needed, right? So that's another one. I can't afford it. The eighth one is I can't think right now. How many times have I heard this? I'm on the phone. Oh, I can't think right now. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. It's another cop out. It's a safe zone that we create for ourselves and it's a self-destructive belief and pattern that we undertake okay and the ninth one is I don't have time for that right now right well my schedule is really packed my this or I don't have I don't have the time and you want to know something if it is important for you you would figure out how to make the time for it and that is really really important okay so those are the nine common self-destructive beliefs that we that we tell ourselves and that when we tell ourselves that then it we make a decision based on that belief see it doesn't matter like a lot of people so who cares if I have this belief the reason why it matters is because it is dictating how you are being in the world how you're making decisions and decisions are the one thing that we have that's our point of freedom our point of freedom is that we have choice and the choice comes from having different decisions different options so that's what i can do to afford it i need to start thinking like that yes 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 and yes sorry i wasn't looking at the comments before i was so involved in gauging with you so honestly you know most of us have this belief that I'm not good enough so I'm gonna start with that belief oh here we go with something in my eye <laughs> I deliberately put my hair back so that I wouldn't be messing with my eyes because I've noticed that that happens or I'm messing with my hair during the videos and, and here it goes right and I just love the humor of the angels because they always come in you like you always think that you okay I'm gonna not be rubbing my eyes during a video and and I'm gonna try to stay engaged the whole time and they always do something to kind of distract me and really just bring me back into like you know something life comes up and you deal with it as it comes along and I just love that and I, I love that the angels are constantly reminding me that they're present and and that is something 
that is so powerful and that we can all embody. The more we pay attention to the things that are happening in our life that we enjoy, we start experiencing it more. Okay, so here we go to our lesson. So actually to our exercise. So I'm going to do things a little bit different now here on Live Life Your Way. And, you know, with the lessons now that we're doing. So I was giving tips before and sometimes I will get tips. But what I want to do is actually walk through a lesson with you. And the reason why I do this um, or that I'm feeling this way of doing work is because I really want you to get the best results, okay? And I want you to see what it takes to start doing things on personal development as well, okay? Some of us have done many things on personal development and some of us, it's really new to us. And I want to show you how to do that and I also want to show you how it would also be to have a coach, right? Whether it's me or someone else, but how it gets you clarity and how it moves you forward okay and yes we all have coaches all business coaches all businesses should have a, a coach because it keeps you in alignment oh i turned the page over so before we get to the exercise i'm going to take a sip of water so give me a moment okay awesome so Right now, I want you, so you're going to need a pen and paper. So if you don't have that, go get it. Okay, run, go get that pen and paper. If not, take notes on your phone, whatever. Write this down. Now, there's another thing I want you to do here. I really want you to go get that pen and paper. Okay, I do not want you to say, I have good memory. I'll remember later. I'm telling you, are you willing to do whatever it takes? Are you ready to start transforming your life? Are you ready to start implementing the tools? Okay, if you want to start implementing the tools, you're going to do what I'm sharing with you because it is going to transform you. If you want to stay where you are, be my guest and do not get that pen and paper. Okay, then you shouldn't be here right now. But if you are serious, about your transformation and you really are sick and tired of things not working your way then I tell you go get that pen and paper and start doing the exercises that I'm going to be sharing with you and it's not hard and no one's going to see it but you okay and it's going to provide so much clarity for you and you're going to feel great about it okay so that is really really important for us to go get our pen and paper so one thing I want to share with you is that we have like major areas in our life, major places in our life, right? And um, I'm going to ask you to also write down in the comments area some of the life areas of your, uh, that are important that you in your life, right? So for instance, career, okay, health, relationships, spirituality sexuality, money, communication. These are all areas of our life, right, that, um, that are, have significance and value for us, okay? So I want you to think about these areas of your life. Career, health, relationships, love, spirituality, spirituality, <laughs> sexuality, money, communication okay and if there's any other ones that come up feel free and write them down and I'll say it and share it with the class okay so I want you now with your with your pen and paper or whatever it is that you're doing to write down these notes okay I want you to write down what is working and not working for you right now Okay, I want you in what areas, right? So, and sometimes it's both, right? So, sometimes it's my relationship is working, but it's also not working. Okay, so great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so we have my, uh, home, health, 
finances, starting all over again in life, relationships. Yes, thank you for sharing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, these are all important areas as well. Very, very important areas. So I want you now to write down what are some areas, and you could make like a column, right? Make two, two columns. What's working? What's not working? What's working? What's not working? Is my career working? Is it not working? Is it both? If it's both, put it in both areas. Is my health working? Is it not working? Is my relationships working? Are they not working? Is my spirituality working? Or not working okay is my sexuality working and not working okay is money communication finance home starting over are those areas working and not working for me okay so now that you know I'm letting you write this down hmm. so beautiful awesome now I want you to look at these areas okay Look at your list of what's working and not working. Okay? Just just look at it. No feelings. Do not attach emotions to this, please. Okay? Just look at it. Observe what is happening. Okay? And now I ask you to pick one area for right now that we are doing this. And you could go back and do this for each area. You know, watch this part again for each area. Okay? What I want you to do is now pick one area that you want to work on. Okay, so look at the list that says do not, that's not working, right? That isn't working for you. Okay, good. You got it? I hope you do. I wish we were all like in, like I could see you so I could see you guys nodding and saying yes. <laughs> right? Okay, so... I want you to look at that area that isn't working. And I want you to now write down, okay? Like, so now under that columns list that you make, now under that same piece of paper, I want you to write down why this area isn't working for you, right? What is missing from this area? I want you to write that down. Okay, and I'll give you an example. So when I did this exercise, um, the area that I chose was money, right? Money and career, right? They go very closely together. And it was working and not working for me, right? So then what I noticed was missing, right? What wasn't working? One of the things that I noticed that wasn't working for myself was that I was doing everything by myself, right? That I didn't have a team. Right. And that was creating a lot of stress for me. OK. Um, also, I wasn't enjoying editing the videos as much. Right. So part of it, I wasn't fully in my power and not hiring someone to do that work for me. Right. What wasn't working is um, a part of that money um, situation. Wait, I have my list right here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to look at what else I wrote on my list. Okay. When I did this list, what I put that was missing was faster internet. Sometimes my internet be flaky. Right? So that was another thing, right? And I could get that fixed. I could get a better broadcasting system. Right? But I wasn't looking at the solution, just looking at what would make my life easier. Right? What would make my life easier right now for that goal? Right. Um, having uh, my own office space, having someone to write my newsletters or and edit my work. Right. Having more time to connect with people. OK. So when I did that exercise, um, I think it was like last week or two weeks ago. You know what? I, I started putting some of those things into place already and I'll explain that to you later. But now I want you to take a moment and start and write down under that list why those what is missing from that area that isn't working right 
So if you chose relationship, right? Let's say relationship isn't working. What part of the relationship wasn't working? What would you need? Better communication, maybe to feel um, acknowledged, appreciated. Um, maybe you need more sex. Maybe you need less sex, right? Maybe you want to experience more relationships with with different people okay so just write down what is missing right what if you were to have those things it would make it easier for you okay great now I want us to go back okay I want us to go back to the self-destructive beliefs, right? The beliefs that we talked about earlier. And I know you didn't write this down because I didn't tell you to. Um, so the self-destructive beliefs. Now I want you to look at what's missing, okay? And why you haven't made the decision to make those things happen, right? Because all you have to do is make a decision and those things start happening in our life, right? You make the decision and the resources start popping up left and right. Okay, so I want you to now look at yourself, sit with yourself for a moment, taking a deep breath in and out. <sighs> Wonderful. And I want you to now look and see what belief has gotten me stuck, right? What, what belief is it? Is it the belief that I'm not good enough? Is it the belief that I'm not important? Is it the belief that I'm not smart enough? Is it the belief that I'm not lovable? Is it the belief that I need to work hard? Is it the belief that I'm too old or too young? Is it the belief that I can't afford it? Is it the belief that I can't think right now? Is it the belief that I don't have time for that now? Okay. Which belief is it? Which belief goes with that? Goes with why you haven't made a decision? Okay. I just want you to sit with that. I don't want you to do anything with this right now. Okay. I just want you to recognize. So for me, when I did my list, that I showed you and I reflected what belief was holding me back, right? What, what self-destructive belief was dictating my decision so that I wasn't having these missing items in my life? And there was a few of the beliefs. It wasn't just one. There were a few, okay? Some of the beliefs was, I'm not smart enough. So I kept making decisions that would not empower me. Okay, another one was, I can't afford it, right? I can't afford to hire an assistant. I can't afford to get that new software that does all the great things on its own, right? Another belief was, I need to work hard, right? I need to work hard. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough, okay? I don't, and another one was, I don't even have time to look for an assistant because I'm so busy doing all the things by myself. It almost doesn't make any sense, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I just want you to get clear, right? What was the belief in that for you, right? And you could do this practice again and again and again with different areas of your life. And as you go back, and you start doing this to different areas of your life, you start really seeing a lot of transformation happen for you. Okay? Awesome. So taking a deep breath in. And out. Good. Right? And this may bring some emotions up. You may get angry. You may get upset. You may even laugh like, really, I'm letting this stop me? This is the one thing that's stopping me not having an assistant from being a, a big, like really blowing up my business or, or having someone to edit my work. That is the reason why. 
Come on. Okay. So now that we know the belief that's connected with it, right? Now we can transform it. Okay. Now this takes some work. Okay. And there isn't one solution for it. For everyone is different. It's unique based on the person. Okay. And I share this because I want to be very true and honest with you. Right? Everyone thinks they have the solution to solve everyone's problems. We don't. Okay. And everyone's thing is unique. But what I'm here to share with you is that if you can really get clear about what is holding you back, your belief systems, you can then start moving things forward. Okay. Actually, I am motivated now. Yes, that is the point, right? It's to create a sensation within you, right? This is not a time for us to feel sad, to beat ourselves up, because that's actually a self-destructive behavior, a self-destructive thought, and I don't want that for you. I want to make it, I want you to recognize what is happening for you. Okay, and use now that that you know that's now aware to you because I bet for a lot of you, you didn't realize that the reason why you didn't have what was missing in your life was simply because you had a belief system that said you weren't good enough or you weren't smart enough or you're too old or you're too young. What? I'm letting that belief dictate my life like it's almost like, oh, my God. That means I could do something about this and I'm not stuck in this little thing, right? Okay, I look a little crazy, sorry. I just get really worked up because that's how I feel, right? When, when things come to, to light for me and they make sense and I'm like, really, that is the reason why I'm not, I'm, I'm not being a powerhouse? This is the reason why, why I can't get people to the next level? What? What? No, I'm not going to let that thought of, you know, I'm not smart enough because my teachers decided to make fun of me in elementary school, okay, dictate the rest of my life, okay? And I'm asking you to stand in that power and say, I'm not going to let that belief and whatever story is attached to it dictate my life anymore. It doesn't have to. I want to leave it in the past, okay? It happened. Great. Time to move on. Okay? It is time. Don't let yourself get stuck. Okay? So now, that we know, so now that we know the belief that it, or some of the belief that is holding us back, that is the root of why things aren't working for us. Okay? And, I'm looking at the time I've been on for almost, what, 45 minutes now. So, to, you know, what I want to let you know is I want you to affirm your truth. I want you to affirm your truth. What is your truth? Is your truth that you're not smart enough? Is that really true? Right? Am I really not smart enough? Right? When I asked myself that in, and I sat with that feeling, am I really not good enough that, you know, that I can't do these things? And you come to realize that it's not true, that you are, okay? So I want you to affirm the opposite of that belief, okay? So if your belief that was connected was, I'm just going to stick with smart enough because that was one that came up for me. If my belief was I'm not smart enough, I'm now shifting that belief to I am smart enough. I'm more than smart enough. Okay? And I want you to do the same. If your belief was I'm not good enough, I'm not important, I want you to then shift it to I am important. I am good enough. Okay? If your belief is I can't afford that, say I can afford that. If your belief is that I don't have time for that, 
you, I want you to affirm, I have time for that. I have time for me. Okay. That's important. Okay. So now that you have that new belief, right? Well, it's a new thought because it's not a belief yet, right? A belief becomes a part of our system, right? It becomes a part of our subconscious mindset is when it's through repetition. I needed this today. I'm so glad you're here. I am so glad you're here. Remember to share this video. If you feel touched and moved and you feel that there's someone out there that can use this material, I give you full permission to share this video, to share this content, share it email, share it on Facebook, send text messages, say, hey, you need to listen to this. You don't have time, make time. Put it in the background, just listen. Just listen, okay? Because that's another thing. We always think that we don't have time. You know, there's so many things I want to do, and you know, I play it in the background. There's people like videos and, and um, what's those audio books and stuff like that. You know, books that I want to read, I put them in the background. Why? Because I want to keep expanding myself. And there are going to be times where they're going to say something, going to catch my attention. I'm going to take that note and move with it. And it's going to transform my life. And it's not only going to transform my life, it's going to transform the lives of everyone that I am able to connect with. Right? And I ask you to help me to continue connecting with people. So share this video. And because you share this video, you get entered into a drawing, okay, to win a one-hour free coaching session with me. This is a private one-hour free coaching session with me. My, this, the value of a coaching session with me at this current time is $200 just for one hour, okay? And you get that for free if you win. So go ahead, share this video, okay? Share any of my lesson videos and you get entered each and every time so if you shared my video five times you get entered five times and guess what that's five times more that you can win i think that's awesome okay so what i would like to share with you now is that in order to create lasting change we need to bring it into our subconscious mind right the the reason why these beliefs are there and they're dictating your decisions without you even being conscious about it is because it's running in your subconscious mind. You didn't know that not having the relationship you wanted or the communication was because you felt that you didn't have a voice and you felt that you weren't important, right? And, or you felt that you weren't smart enough and that's why your relationship isn't working. Because you didn't have the courage to stand into that power of saying, hey, I am smart enough and I have a voice and I could communicate to my partner. Okay? This, what this is to do, what, blah, 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 got all tongue tied. What I'm trying to share with you here, and I feel like I'm getting all crazy up here in my mind because there's so many thoughts happening all at once, is that. These self-destructive beliefs became a part of your belief system, okay, because you continuously had experiences to validate them, okay? So more than not, you're going to see that there's a lot of things that's connected to one belief. The belief that I'm not smart enough that I was sharing before about my teacher making fun of me, I would come home, my mom would... Would, would yell at me because I didn't do my homework right or I would spell the words wrong, you know, and I'm not blaming anyone, right? There's no blame in the game. What I'm saying is that it continued throughout my life and even when I went to high school and I went to college, I struggled. And you know, many times professors would come up to me and say, Melissa, you really need to, um, you know, review your work. Right. And they would say it from a place of like making me feel bad. And at that moment, I would let myself feel bad. And at this point, I said, no, I am grateful for them telling me that I needed to review my work. 
because it showed me something about myself is that I can learn new things. I could do different things. I am smart enough. Okay. So what I share with you right now is, so I'm going to give you three st steps for you to do right now. Okay. Step, no, the, where did I write them? I know that I have them here. Okay, great. So I'm going to give you three steps. So right now, the first step that I want you to use is for you to now validating your new belief every single day as much as possible. So if your belief is I'm, import I'm important, right? This is the new belief. I am important. You're going to do that every time you feel that you're not going to do the things on your list. Right. Remember the list that we wrote of all the things that we're missing and, you know, we didn't do them. Right. What well, wasn't working for you? Remember that list? And then the, we did another one that we shared what is missing. Right. That list. Go to that list and start making those decisions. OK, so that's step number one. Right. And just every day, affirm, affirm, affirm. I'm smart enough. I'm good enough. I'm important. Right. Whatever belief that you chose, if you want to say all of them, more power to you, because that just brings so much more energy. Right. Right. And I just want to say something about affirmations. Affirmations work to an extent. And I'm going to be very honest with you. Some people are like, oh, just affirm and everything gets great. No. You just don't affirm and everything gets great. Affirming is the first process, right? Because it's a part of the awareness of it, right? So the affirm is, the, you affirming is to remind yourself every day, right? You're starting a new habit. The magic happens when the habit starts coming naturally, okay? That is when you start creating the belief, okay? And once you create the belief, then it could go into your subconscious mind and then you could make decisions from that new belief system instead of the old belief system of the opposite of what you're trying to create right now. Okay, so, t so step number two. Step number two is that I want you to sign up for my free webinar on reprogramming your mindset and transforming your life, okay? I will have the information below this video, okay? And I, I do, I'll show you also here on the screen the website that you can go to, okay? So tip, the step number two is I want you to go to my website, okay? I want you to click on the link. I want you to go there. Okay. I want you to do this. Okay. You see it's on the screen. I'm going to put the link under the video. Once the video is ended, if you're on my Facebook page, there's a button that says sign up. If you hit that button, it'll take you directly to sign up and claim your free seat. The reason why I want you to sign up for this webinar is because I'm going to be giving you more tips and tools on reprogramming your mindset, right? That beliefs that are happening and to really start creating transformation. It's not something that will happen overnight and I'm not saying it will. And if I did, I would be lying to you. And that is one thing, one thing I do not want to do. I do not want to lie to you. I never would want to lie to you. Okay. I have the choice to change how I feel about things, yes. But would I intentionally tell you, hey, this works if you do it once and it doesn't? No, 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 that isn't my game. Okay, so that's step number two. Step number two, sign up. Step number three. Step number three is I want you to share this video. Because if you're watching this video to this point right now, that means that it meant something to you. There was something in here that created a shift within you to want to continue staying all the way until I end the video. Okay. And I want you 
to remember how that what that felt like that transformation that happened during the session today and think about how you can go and if you but you sharing this can do that for someone else that is a way that you can give back today okay so I'm asking you to continue giving back I'm giving right now and I ask you to help me to continue to give because one thing I do know for sure from my list of things <clears throat> From my list of things that aren't working is that I was trying to do things all by myself and now I'm asking you to assist me and not letting me work by myself and help me share this material okay if you feel called to it and because I love you guys so much and because I know you're doing things to support yourself and help yourself and because you're helping me spread the, my mission, which is to get it in front of as many people as possible. You will be able to enter to win a free one hour coaching session with me where we can talk about your, your beliefs and I'll give you strategies and tips and a plan on how to move yourself from one place to another. Okay, so I'm really excited. So the three steps that I want you to do is make the decision to make a change, right? Which is affirming. The second step I want you to do is sign up to the free webinar on reprogramming your mindset. And the third thing I want you to do is share this video and you get entered to win into a free um, raffle for a free coaching session with me. So I am so excited, so, so excited. See, we have here, yes, done and signed up. Thank you so much. You are going to love it, okay? And the webinar is next week, so it's only a week away. Ah! <laughs> awesome. So I want to thank you all. I am so happy to be here with you. And I send you all love and I wish nothing but abundance, love. And I send you all the angels of healing and prosperity to each and every one of you so that you can start making decisions, start feeling inspired and feeling motivated to start moving forward in life. Okay, because all it takes is a decision to change everything. Okay, and you have the power to do so now. And I believe in you. So thank you so much for being here. Remember to sign up for the webinar. Remember to love yourself and recite your pledge every single day. So until the next time, everyone, I love you unconditionally. Namaste.